care that all right okay i got uh, in elizabeth kicked me out but we're recording <laughs> okay yeah so that part is done uh i think i'll maybe uh, every week i'll like uh, before a meeting i'll just send a reminder to the OSPO group is that fine with everyone yeah uh, that makes sense okay yeah so we are good and on you that can maybe part. like don't show the whole preview in the OSPO slack channel okay yeah i'll just it's like this big yep <laughs> i realized that after posting it i was like should i add it i, I was like for the first time let it go yeah so the next meetings i'll just put a small reminder yeah yeah uh, yeah yep. okay. yeah and anna's anna's suggestion like anna's post is what got me here like yeah. this morning and i think tapping her to do it ended up because like she's really good at the the other yep. reminders okay. yeah so kind of like yeah. trained to pay yeah. attention to that yep okay I'll coordinate with her and ask her to do it like a day before the meeting so that people have like it's day of is actually I think actually because you're like oh okay in an hour I have to like click on this link like actually having the zoom like having the, the zoom link in her okay reminders I don't know maybe that's how lazy I am at the moment but it's like okay. <laughs> yeah meeting okay. meeting reactionary <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have that hour free. So, yeah. Love, Gear. Hi, Georg. Howdy. Good to see you all. Hi, Hi Alyssa. Good to see you. Hi, good, good to see you. Long time no see. Oh, is it? No, maybe I have seen you, but I don't know. <laughs> it's good to see you. Okay. So, second item on the agenda is. Uh, uh, clarity on the mission statement. We developed a mission statement and we focused on the four areas. So I was not sure whether other two areas are we going to cover or not. Like point three and point four was the main concern for is this me. What, is this what you want me to bring up here? Yes, yes. Thank okay. you, Matt. Yep. So like, uh, so point three is, is still fine, but I'm, I was not sure uh, bringing point four as a part of the mission statement. How do we capture the stories from people and share it with others? Sure. Um, part of me, like when I was kind of working on the readme earlier today, I wondered if if we're going to be attracting folks from OSPOs and other right. people can talk to, like how much we ask those folks to do metrics development work right. versus just, because that's a, a little bit of a, tedious job sometimes you know what i mean just like putting together the google doc and then yep. from the different headings and all that kind of stuff and same with metrics models those are also can be a little bit right. tedious so i'm wondering if we would actually like lose people i mean we can we can do that kind of work but yeah. if, if our meetings are focused on that 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 may not be of primary interest yep yeah so, uh, so maybe we, if we get the, like, uh, I, I'm fine even if people come here and share the, their pain points or the things mm -hmm. that they are looking or share the ideas that they are looking so that we can even work offline and yes. uh, share them. Okay, this is what we have come up based on your feedback and let, what do you think on it? Giving a review is way better than just writing an entire metric for, uh, for them. That, Few of us can do offline and share it with everyone. Ruth, did you have a comment too? Yeah, sorry, I'm just joining in. Um, Hi, but, Ruth. Um, the way we like, I, I think having people also contribute to the flow of the work would also be beneficial because, like, for the to do group, we have, although we have like separate work days, we have days where we do. We call them work days where people come together and work on like different tasks. And then we also have like, um, you know, the ospology sessions. Then we also have, there's this where we have like discussions on the different, from people from different regions. Um, so I would say for people that are in the to-do group, um, they are also used to working like, like for the work day, they're also used to working on so i think it's also beneficial to okay. have people work on the metrics as well because okay. it makes them part of the process 
What is a work? Can you describe a work day? What does that look like? Yeah. Yeah, so a work day is usually we come like there, maybe we have like tasks to do, like a newsletter. We come together, people take like, okay, I'm going to work on the newsletter today. I'm going to work on this discussion. So we share the work and everybody just goes silent and everybody's working on what they're doing. And if there are any questions, people ask, okay, I'm having difficulty okay. with doing this. So there's also something called a work day where people get to work on stuff so I think okay. it would also be helpful to have people have the meetings where we also work on the metrics too okay. I, I think they're really useful the work days um and they're kind of like very unstructured I wonder if you could join one um because pe you know people essentially break out into rooms and work on certain okay specific and projects they, yeah are they like to a meeting or is it uh, it's specifically a, a to do work day, and I think it's two hours, maybe even three hours, and it's just like open space that you're like see. all going to come together. So if you're working on, on a project a with Tuesday. other us, okay, again? like just on a Tuesday, we have a two hour yeah. block and join. Yeah, it's like work together. Okay, you know, and it's blocked out in your calendar, and it's like you know, I was working on a project, and we would we would arrange our like, you know, work meetings, you know, yeah. uh, around the work days. Okay. And so then the rooms are like, you're the group that wants to work on aspology. You're the group that wants to work on the whatever, newsletter. Whatever, yeah. okay, whatever else it might be. And then you just yeah. go into your respective rooms and do your work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, would it be possible to, are they regularly scheduled? Yeah. And I, I wonder if you can have a, a regular metrics. That's what I was just wondering. Like room. Too. Yeah. In the yeah. workday. Yeah. I, yeah I, I don't know who exactly organizes them, but there's an America one and a um, APAC one. And okay. I know that Dwayne leads uh, the America one. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, I did not know about those. So thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah, I like them a lot. It's a good idea. Okay. Maybe so. that that is the plan. I was thinking like, okay, we can combine these two together and just, hop in over there and work there and i like that yeah if we did like work days in the to-do group yep yeah if we could work with Dwayne, and then we use this time to really talk about like again shared pain yep. points areas of need if there's any yeah. small like detail work that needs to be done we could yep. you know at least yep. action items here yeah um uh, so ruth or Alyssa, are they is it like once a month is it once a week is it do you know? I think it's once a month. Do you, do you recall, Ruth? Yeah, I think it's once a month. Like, um, so the APAC region um, has their own work day, uh, APAC and EMEA. I think that's the one I fall in. Okay. And then uh, EMEA has their own region. I think it's once a month. Let me just cross check my calendar. Okay, actually, I, I like that because then we could do that once a month to actually work on metrics. And then we would have this twice a month to kind of strategize and talk about metrics or metrics models that we want to bring together. So, right. and I like that too, because as chaos and to do, like now that we're part of the associates program, like it's nice to have some of the work occurring yeah. in to do group and some of the work occurring here. I like that partnership. So that's cool. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So then so this is helpful, but like, uh, I don't know. I'm my fourth point is still not addressed. I feel like, no, I'm uh, sorry. Yes, I, I took that away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, so should that be a part of mission at this point? Because I'm not sure, are we going to uh, share the stories or those things? I don't know. So, are you thinking about like how we? identify the need, yes the needs of ospos and things like that yep um i mean i guess part of me was always like i hope we can do that in this meeting okay that we can articulate what those are at least at a high level 
You know okay. what I mean? So like we could create metrics templates that we could bring to the workday now that that's potentially part of the equation. Right. Um, I think a chaos cast makes a ton of sense. Okay. You know, or more than one chaos yeah. cast. Um, Ruth, would a Twitter yeah. space at all be relevant here? You mean to share the work or um, to understand how? So um, there's this, I know, I'm trying to remember, we have the work days at To Do Group, and there's this part where we also have conversations, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Because I know usually on the work day, we don't have conversations, but on the other day, we have like conversations around us both. I'm trying to remember, okay. checking the cover. So one of the things that I, you know, have kind of found is um, how do we capture stories from people? Yep. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's like, do we want a formal way of doing this? One, one of the thing I was thinking is uh, we should like maybe a former group that and start meeting people from the OSPO to learn their pen points or talking to them, especially like maybe yeah. 15, 20 minutes interview or something like that. Okay. Yeah, the way we did this DI survey, similarly, I'm thinking of doing that uh, survey with OSPO folks. And I'm, I'm happy to draft a survey that we can uh, look at it and then we can reach out to the OSPO folks one by one and start mm -hmm. learning their pain points. Has this been done in the to-do group at all? About trying to like reach out to OSPO members to really just kind of say, what are the metrics? What are the metrics models? I mean, I think pe people reach out to each other informally. I've never seen anything okay. Okay. Formally, but I, I I do feel like it's a space where w one could do that. Like you yeah. know, it wouldn't be unusual for for any of us to reach out to each other. Okay. Um. I also, GitHub. I don't know what um. I don't know what Slack channels you have on the um to do Slack, but there's a GitHub wish list Slack channel okay. where some of the GitHub people. Synonym on and people are like, it would be great if GitHub did this for us. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, and it's it's kind of like a inverse of the pain points, right? It'd be like, it'd be great if we could, you know, a yeah, metrics wish see, list. You could see this. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, so it, it could be it could be interesting to see what people would love to see in terms of, or in terms of the metrics. But I don't know if there's a metrics channel already, and I haven't. I'm not aware. Is there one? When I was it, signing up, I don't think I saw anything like that. Yeah. I think I think that's one of the things that is a core value for the meetups that the to do group has regionally right now. That people don't necessarily know where to start to have a conversation about the metrics that they're using or how they're using them, but a lot of the conversations that I was in when we were in Stockholm really kind of addressed this issue where, you know, OSPO folks seem to share and be able to ask questions openly when they're face to face. It's a more difficult thing to pull off. I think like when you're talking to one person, it's not impossible, yep. but I think we have to like the way that it could be done well, I think would involve a conversation that maybe lasted an hour and got edited down to like 15 minutes mm -hmm. <clears throat> um and that's a you know it's going to be a it'll be a good deal of work to do that yeah. editing uh, more so than having the conversation but i think that would be the that would be a higher value more likely to be consumed um thing in my in my experience so right, like a like a focus group is that I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, um, 
you know, we, you know, OSP, chaos OSPO talk or OSPO to do, you know, metric, metric model talks. Um, like an extension of the podcast? Uh, I would view it as separate from the podcast. I would view it because it would need to incorporate video and the sharing of screens so people could illustrate what they're doing. I think understanding metrics and metrics models is really not possible with an audio only approach i think something to consider and i don't know ruth if this is your background but like i feel like there are much there's much more um like this there seems to be much more consideration about how to be public for the ospos so some people can't even participate in the slack channel because of of, of their you know company rules and regulations and and so their conversation happens on github instead and that's why anna like does the repeat of the aspology questions that's why we always talk about chat and house rules in our in our meeting yeah so, i th i think yeah. the conversations would have to be um conceptual um talking about things that are important and then maybe not even the person um, being interviewed, sharing something like that, but the host sharing something like that to, to avoid that situation. And that's where I think that the, the editing was, was what would make it interesting and useful without violating those, you know, actual guidelines that constrain people. And that's for that same reason, I think it's why the conversations uh, at a, at an event you know, at these face-to-face -face events is where a lot of this conversation is happening mm -hmm. because they, you know, putting something on the internet that's recorded does pose those risks, I think, Alyssa. I think you're right. Yeah, plus you have to get a bunch of approval to be able to participate in the conversations often. We've been chatting some of these down. Yep. Um, the one thing that I did add, I know we have to, we have to end in just in two minutes, okay. or at least Vinod and I have to go in two minutes, but, um, I think this might be important too. messaging about what chaos provides to, to do slash OSPO folks. Like if, if you engage with us, if you're in the to-do group and you spend time talking to us, yeah. Like, what are we gonna, what are we doing Do for you? So, I mean, a lot of what I think we can provide is, is documenting the conversation. We document it through metrics. We document it through metrics models. We have a formal process to do that. And I think we can actually provide some, not, not in all cases, but some preliminary looks at what these deployments would look like. Yep. Um, so like the chaos project isn't necessarily there to provide the to-do group solutions around metrics <laughs> we're, we're trying to capture and document the conversation yeah. so we can carry it forward in a structured way um so i think the nice thing about that is like we're trying to also represent the to the to do group and the ospo folks that we're trying to provide a service to to the participants in the to do group not just like blasting them with here are things that you need to do <laughs> and then we just like <laughs> like we're just like, like pushing things on on ospos and then kind of washing our hands and saying you know we did our part um so maybe we could make that clear to vanad i'm trying to think about yeah. just how yeah. to capture stories and share them with others like we can capture the stories if we're like we just want to listen so that we can document you know right not that we want to listen so that we can like critique you <laughs> we, we want to listen so we can learn kind of thing right it'd be great yeah. to get documentation for why metrics are important mm -hmm. like for an ospo okay and like i know we talk about like um like getting started but it's like how to get started with metrics you know like because I feel like um yeah yeah i think there there is a um I, I think one of the guides you know the to do guides i think one of them Garrig, you would know too like mentions like 
Gomorrah Lab. I think it might mention Augur. Like it actually it kind of goes in that direction. We may want to revisit that guide and just see what it looks like. Do you know what I'm talking about, Georg? Yeah, I know which guide you're talking about. It's uh, it's a good primer on metrics for OSPO. Okay. I haven't read it in another year or so either. Yeah, I have. It's been a, it's been a long time. So maybe re, maybe to your point, Alyssa, like there may be some work that's already done, and we could just kind of revisit that. Okay, I, I do have to run. Yeah. yeah.